Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome. We're today we're gonna be playing some more Knights Chronicle. And first things first, I guess we'll go to the Kodaks and take a look at her if she's in here. Wait, is she? Yeah, just making sure she's not in the Child Guild or anything. She's not in the. Uh... Oh, she's not in here. Okay. She's definitely not in here. Oh yeah, I I did an avid run on this guy. I almost got through it. I almost beat it. But my special self misjudged his HP and my friends uh, Saya and I kind of ruined the run and got one-shotted. Yeah, I was so close, but I was just testing out the dungeon for the first time and actually for my first run it wasn't half bad. <laughs> But anywho, I guess we do have to go in here and look at Cynthia's stuff. So Cynthia's skills, her leader skill increases all allies attack by 15%. Could you calm down? Jesus. Her passive has a 70% chance of applying melancholy to attackers. So this is pretty much, they can't receive buffs. That's what melancholy is. So that really does suck for your DPS. Decreases damage that is taken from units who have Malakali. Okay, that's actually really good. Um, oh, she silences. Alright, her level 60 passive. Attacks become critical when the caster is silenced. Oh. Increases the, the multi chance the multi-strike chance by 75% and the counter chance by 75%. What? Has an 80% chance of silencing the attacker for one turn. Excuse me? Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna really hurt. Okay. What is her um, actual skills? Her first skill, this damage that ignores defense to one target has 25% chance to silence the target for one turn, has a 60% chance to silence the target if the caster is silenced. Huh? Wait. Okay, that's that sounds weird. Oh, let's keep reading first. The second skill penetrates to all enemies and silences the cast. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So, pretty much her two's working with her one. And her one's actually very scary just because of this. Oh, that's that's kind of terrifying. Oh god, what does her three do? Does penetration damage to three enemies? Silences the caster for three turns. Three turns? Jesus. Oh no, you can't team up with Rue. Now that I think about it, you can't team up with Rue. Because if you do that, it's going to take away her silences and it's going to leave her not be able to get the most out of her out of her passive in her first skill. Hmm. Or would you be able to? That's weird. It also does additional 30 damage if one... Oh, if there's only one target. Okay. So this is another fire unit. <laughs> the fire units are getting really catered to right now. Like, jeez. But I'm going to do one summon for her. And we're going to see if we get her. Let's see if I have any luck on my side. I doubt it. My luck has been terrible this past few weeks. Nope. Oh, thank you. I needed her. I needed her for the um, Teo dungeon. Thank you. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm happy with this. I've been trying to look for her for the longest now. Jake? Nah, not nah, not a big fan. 
Come on, give me somebody else I need. Don't really need her. Okay, that's all of them. Ah, oh, thank God. I really needed this character for the Tail Dungeon. Since I got my, um, Ramu to 5 star. Let me go ahead and grab this. It's not gonna be anything special, but. I just wanna get it out of the way. Let me go ahead and lock her now. Now, all I need is another Seiya. Because I made a mistake in auto evolved minds. You know what? We're not going to talk about it. A lot of feels went around. I was triggered. I cried on the inside. Cried on the outside. A lot of things happened. <laughs> all right, locker. All right, all right. So my progress, you guys have seen, has changed a bit. I started focusing on characters now. Instead of spreading it out. And this past week has gotten me to Ramu being 5-star. Thanks to the whole Britain event. The hospital dungeon going around. I still have three Britons left. So, yeah. I can make another 5-star. Or I can... S or I can beat another Britain dungeon. Get the fourth one. And get Ramu to 5 which gets her, I'm pretty sure, defense, right? 20% defense? Oh no, 20% attack. Okay. Eh. That's something I need right away, so I have plenty of time to start working on Cordelia. So I wasn't planning on making this like a real long video, but if I have another a teammate so but if I have another say a teammate maybe I'll run this again just for you guys let's see do I do hi nope doesn't seem like it oh that's unfortunate man I'm kind of sad because we were almost there I could have got my first run completed inside of a SSR seems like it's gonna be a <laughs> another wait Considering that I can't reuse a teammate after once, it, it kind of limits me to how many times I can run this. And I need to try and get another Seiya so I can actually do that. So, yep. <laughs> you guys saw my progress. <laughs> Sooner or later, I will be doing Teo Dungeon now. As soon as I max out my Cordelia, I'll just be farming the crap out of his dungeons and hoping to God to get him. Or maybe I'll see if a guild member has her already uh, maxed out or something. I doubt it, but eh, you could never, you could never hope, you know, never hope too much. Uh, evolve. Do I have everything I can evolve her with? Yes, I do. Boop, 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 and I was, I was making sure that I already had her um, maxed out for crystals. There we go. Now, the limit break begins, which I don't think I have any. Wait, hello? Oh, I don't have her... <laughs> I was like, wait, where is she? <laughs> I didn't have her maxed. So I'm going to do that. And start working on her. Getting her to where I need her to be. Uh, let me know what I need to build her. Do I need to build her like HP or anything like that? I was thinking HP and defense. The same thing with my Ramu. Who now has... 16,000 HP. And... If I was to go in with her leader, she would probably have around 18,000, I believe. Like 18,800? Somewhere around that? You guys let me know. 
because I really do need to be, build her up. Since people say all you need is Ramu and um, Cordelia just to do it. So that should be fun. Oh boy, that should be fun. I wish I had a ruby, but I don't have a ruby. Mm. Feels bad, man. Always in my feels, but <laughs> the game just doesn't want to give me a ruby at all, which is unfortunate. But I can show you guys what I got through my um, week of double SRs. You want to know what I got through the whole week? Nothing but ruse. Yep. Nothing but ruse. Well, actually, this one was from a summon. The rest of these were literally from the freaking <laughs> double SR tickets. And I got Esna. Well, two Esnas from the ticket. And I got two Ellies from it. So, one, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, maybe I got for, hmm. No, Ellie, one of the Ellie's were from the uh, summon, right? If I remember correctly. Then I got an Ellie as my last double SR. I think that's how it went. I got three Ruse, one Esna, one Esna, and one Ellie. I don't know guys leave me alone i i can't think right now <laughs> but yeah guys that's pretty much the progress and everything that's going on um i've been grinding pretty much at least two hours and me and my guild are starting to get into the sr dungeons so we can start getting our so we can start working our way up to um double srs because that's kind of where we're at right now the sr happens uh, we've been farming super powered girl and now we're working our way over to the others as a guild so yeah that's been going on pretty sure that's pretty much it guys stop by the stream if you guys want to and i'll see you guys next time peace out don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through You're what you got to lose You're what you got to lose